There are a few prerequisites you need installed on your machine to get into Laravel. The first is going to be PHP. You're going to need PHP 7.2.5 or newer for Laravel 7. I'm going to open my terminal, and I'm using iTerm2, but you can use whatever terminal you like. To see if you have PHP installed, you can simply say php-v. I am using PHP version 7.4.6. However, if nothing comes up, if nothing comes up, then you're going to need to install or upgrade PHP on your local machine. I recommend Homebrew. Simply copy the snippet and paste in your terminal. Once installed, Homebrew is able to do things by using this brew keyword from your terminal. And you can do things like this. You can search for PHP. And this is going to search for things you can install on your local machine that have PHP in them. If you notice, I have PHP installed and I have PHP 7.2 installed. This PHP version right here, that's how I have the PHP 7.4.6 version. So all you need to do is run brew and then install and then PHP and you can either do PHP at 7.2.5 or you can just do PHP and we'll get the latest release of PHP. After we have PHP installed, we need to install MySQL. This will be the database that we use for our Laravel series. So we're just going to do brew search MySQL. And this time, I actually do not have MySQL installed. So there's no green check mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do brew, install, and then MySQL. Isn't speed her up. Simply, 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 simpler, simply, simplify. I'm here for the software, not the singing, yet. asshole. We can confirm that it installed correctly by running brew search MySQL. Given it is installed correctly, MySQL will have the screen check mark next to it. So now on Mac, we have both PHP and MySQL installed. If you are on Windows, however, I recommend using YAMP or WAMP. These are all-in-one installers. They allow you to get PHP and MySQL installed. There are plenty of tutorials on that. If you're on Mac, use Homebrew, run through the steps we just went through. If you are on Windows, use ZAMP or WAMP. Next, the code editor. You can use any code editor you want. During this series, this, uh, this Laravel from the ground up series, I am going to personally be using PHP Storm. But you don't have to. You can use PHP Storm. Another great choice is Sublime. Uh, PHP Storm is a lot more heavy duty. It's a, a bit of a learning curve to get into, where Sublime's learning curve is not as high. The trade-off is PHP Storm is going to give you a lot more power than Sublime does. But for this series, either is good to go. You can also use Visual Studios, um, Visual Studio, which is a lot more like PHP Storm than Sublime. A lot of power, a bit of a learning curve. The choice is yours. Use any editor or IDE that you want. There are actually two ways to install Laravel. One is using the Laravel installer, and the second way is actually using Composer. So you know earlier how we used Brew or Homebrew to install PHP and MySQL, so we could use PHP and we could use MySQL? Those are technologies we can install on our local machine. Composer is very similar. It's called a package manager, but it's specifically for PHP packages. And if you don't know what packages are in PHP, that is more than okay. We will dive into that. Right now, all you really need to know is that Composer allows us to install Laravel as well as other cool PHP packages. Um, a cool one is like Carbon, which allows you to mess with like date and times. And that's just a random PHP package. And there's thousands of PHP packages out there that you can install into your Laravel project through Composer. To install Composer, simply go to the download section. And we're going to just copy this right here verbatim. And of course, go back to our terminal and paste it in. Once we have that pasted in, all we really need to do is press enter. To use it, we can simply run PHP 
and then composer.far. And we'll get all of these options. As you can see, we've got a lot of options. A couple of the most popular are going to be the install command and the update command. But we have one more step. We need to make Composer accessible globally, anywhere within our terminal. We need to go back to the getcomposer.org website and go over to the Getting Started tab. There's going to be this globally option, installation, Linux, Unix, Mac OS. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to click installation on Windows. If you're on Mac, you have to simply copy this command, go back to our terminal, and simply paste in that command. Now, instead of running that PHP composer.far thing we ran earlier, we can simply run composer. And it works. More than that, if we want to see our directories and we want to go into a different directory, that composer.far part earlier, that PHP composer.far, would not have worked. Now, since we have it installed globally, we can run composer from anywhere. So in closing, you now have PHP, MySQL, Composer installed globally, and the text editor or IDE of your choice. Those are the prerequisites for Laravel. Simple Laravel.